please hi purple lights welcome to our next reading i'm trying to do readings now that you guys wished for where you know we're having had almost all topics we're out of topics there's nothing else to do so i'm just repeating topics now i'm doing messages but you guys know i also have the message channel so please go there um yeah and you guys you know i looked up at the um nah the in the comment section you guys i asked you two weeks ago i think it was what you want as topics so there was a topic what next challenge is awaiting you so we do that okay so i have my two my two card decks here um this is called threats of fate oh my gosh i just realized i did this reading what thread of fate are you on oh that's cool so we can use wait a minute we can use um threads of fate color i want to use the ones i haven't used so we have black one <laughs> but that was a good idea we have the green one what color is this magenta magenta one and brown i think what color or dark blue okay so those four threads that's cool i haven't even noticed that this is the threads of fate oracle <laughs> that's so cool so this deck i shuffle later and um yeah i'm preparing the pious now um guys what's also so funny you know <laughs> big Tay made me laugh today you know he said <laughs> he said i i had the biggest glow up like him he big t had the biggest glow up i was like why <laughs> he was like he went from unnoticed like <laughs> he said well you know first the tomatoes wrote um <laughs> it's just coincidences you know my signs are no twin flame signs and um yeah there's nothing real here and those are just coincidences and now he said <laughs> he's like called a demon so <laughs> he's like i had the biggest glow up you know i had to laugh i was like ah, i don't want this glow up you know i just have to fight against this glow up you know i don't like you know when people call this he said it's fine um you see how the tomatoes are scared you know <laughs> so actually he told me you see how by by doing that by his glow up how he calls it you know he was laughing you know and he said um they are really afraid of his his power they're really afraid of his karma so he made jokes about this <laughs> i was smiling the whole morning because he was constantly telling me this <laughs> now i was like yeah you know so the next big challenge for these threats of fate here the black one the green one can you see it if i put it here yes so so he was like i have the biggest glow up pal magenta please the next challenge they're facing i don't read reverses guys yeah and pile blue pile blue this one yeah so he asked me to trust him in all things he said everything will be fine we don't need to worry our channel is protected everything is fine and those people will see what they're doing you know he said there's nothing wrong with my channel and there's nothing wrong what i did you know i just helped him to open up this channel and i transfer all the messages you know from spirit and from your divine masculines and there's nothing wrong and if someone wants to stop this <laughs> they have to mess with him he said they have to mess with him and he thinks it's funny that they are now afraid of him but because first they said it's just coincidence and you know i'm making this stuff up and then all of a sudden you know they're like she's talking to a demon <laughs> we're gonna get karma <laughs> oh man it's so sad sometimes you know it's like um <laughs> that's like a loving demon you know we're <laughs> talking to a loving demon that wants to heal people very beautiful 
if you call that demon then yeah <laughs> oh my gosh so guys that's it you see purple and big tail were laughing we're fun we're still in a good mood so nothing is problematic you know um they can degrade me they can mob me they can bully me to the strongest degree let them do that it's just they're walking their road into their own karma world so we don't need to stop them you know everyone has to yeah <clears throat> has to do their task what they are here for on earth and i'm here for uh bringing you messages from Young's higher self you know and from your divine masculines and i am um, a communicator with Spirit. And I th do that through my twin flame bond with my twin flame. And if this is strange for people, then they should just move on from this channel and not bully this channel just because they think it's fake. And most of them have not spent one minute on this channel. You know, that's the funny thing. Most of these people that bully me, they have never seen a healing video. They just hear that or they see um, excerpts, you know, I don't know what they put out on Twitter and I don't want to know. Um, it's like they, you know, they took out content from my videos separately. So it gives another impression. That's what I'm strongly thinking, what they're doing. And so, um, yeah, it's basically them producing fake things about my channel. And it's very, very sad that this is happening. Yeah very sad <clears throat> okay so let's start what is your next challenge guys choose your color and then we'll start the reading okay see you at the piles guys bye so since this oracle deck is called threads of fate we're having our thread of fate here this is the black thread of fate oops and um, yeah, we're going to look at your next challenge. First, I want to get three more cards. Well, let's get two more cards, universe. Why is this card here? Show me. What is this all about? And I'm not reading reversals. I'm not. Oh, oh okay. So we have the five of pentacles here and the seven of cups. What is your next big challenge? Bottom of the deck. Okay, the knight of swords. Okay, so I hope I can you can see everything and we have oh Look at this. We have love. Oh, I love this Your next challenge will be in love Yeah, there's a desert here It's like holding this heart look how beautiful this deck is. Can you see this how it shimmers? Can you see this guys? This is gorgeous. I hope you can see everything let me see let me see yeah patience guys the knight of sword wants to be impatient and wants to run yeah like you know he's the fastest moving knight he's the one who shows his truth you know if you look at this card this knight is showing the truth um they are very much in armor so you are protecting yourself and you're rushing forward, yeah? You, wa you wanna show your truth. The challenge you're facing is that um, you are not with your person, the Five of Pentacles. You, will, you feel as that this is not a balanced relationship. You know, you, f you feel in the desert, basically. You feel like you give everything of your heart, but your person is give giving you nothing back other than confusion because here this is the confusion card you know the illusion and this is the fel ch the, fel the challenge you're facing to get through this period of confusion in love confusion illusion feeling left out in the cold walking through the desert um walking through mountains you see here a lot of obstacles you have to overcome a lot of fights a lot of fights pile black this could also be inner fights but i'm feeling more so that um you know <clears throat> it's not easy 
Ja, it's not easy. Holding this heart and um, nothing coming out of it. And you're almost feeling like it's an illusion, public. And this is a pile we know. Yeah? We're, we're not facing this challenge for nothing. You know, this is a challenge you're facing already for a long time, I'm feeling, right? Because I know what people are on my channel. So you're facing this challenge since some time, right? So let's see what else the universe wants to say to this. We have starseed energy, so you could be a starseed. Just want to say this because this is from the starseed oracle deck. Activated earth, power places, trust where you are led. See? Okay. So. Yeah, I mean, this is divinely guided, you know, very strongly divinely guided. So you don't need to worry. This is activated. This connection is activated, you know. Um, I mean, we have a power place. It could be that you are led to some kind of power place, you know, that you are finding some kind of place where you can be yourself. This could even be my channel. Yeah. So it's like spirit saying, trusting that you are led here, trust, trust spirit that they will lead you into the right direction. So let's see your 3D self. Mm, which cards? Yeah, let's use this, these cards. This is for your 3D. What can you do in 3D? Like, this is for your higher self, you know, from your higher self, a message that trust where you are led. The next challenge you're facing is having this trust that spirit is with you, yeah? And being patient. What can you do in 3D, pile black thread? What can they do in 3D? Okay, speak with love. So not coming at people. <laughs> this is like our channel pile. <laughs> Look at this. We have Venice here. Yeah. We also have this five here, this five, you know. Um, yeah, it's like speak your truth and speak with love and um, yeah, it's basically not, not um, not talking with harsh, harsh words you know, because you don't know the other person's reasons, what they are going through, you know, in order to leave you left out in the cold. Because, you know, there's always a reason why the situation is like this in love for you right now. Yeah, why you feel um, that you are left out in the cold, why you're walking through this desert, why this journey is so hard. Yeah, so speak with love with the ones around you. That's very important. Be patient. That's your next challenge is not to frustrate and to maybe scream at other people or I don't know, to freak out. <laughs> so this is your next challenge. I've, I'm feeling here also that um, maybe people will attack you of being the Lulu. Yeah, we have it here. This is the card of illusion. That's how you feel. That's the challenge, you know, for you in love that you um, maybe people will come at you the same as they come at my channel and tell you you are the Lulu, you know, and, um, you know, don't freak out. You are guided. This is activated on Earth. There is a higher reason for that public. OK, so that's all what I'm having. Bye, guys. Hello, Pal Green. So let's see. First, I shuffle here my tarot deck. I'm going to see what is the next challenge you're facing. Pile green thread. It's funny that this oracle called Thread of Fate Oracle. So I had the idea to use these Thread of Fate again. The Thread of Fate. So why is this card here? Okay, we have the Seven of Wands. 
Why is this card here? Show me universe. One more card. Okay, and I'm not reading reverses, guys. Justice. Okay, Major Arcana. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Cups. <clears throat> That's cute. Are you having these little dogs here? These little poodles? They are no poodles, but <laughs> I don't know what they are. So what is the next challenge you're facing? Oh my gosh, we have, okay, you are revolutionizing everything. The revolutionary. Is this always desert? Why is there always desert on these cards? <laughs> this, uh, I don't know, Pipe 1 had a desert also. So we're all walking through desert, basically. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, this is for me the Ace of Wands, the spark. Yeah. Yeah, this is the revolutionary. People come at you. You have to, a different idea. You you are different than others. You are unique. And you have something like a gift, you know. And <clears throat> with the justice card, I'm feeling that your feeling is, is unfair. Like you're not trusting spirit to bring out your gift because we also have the queen of cups the queen of cups is a very intuitive person you could be a water sign cancer pisces scorpio or you could have this strong in your chart but i see you were being represented as, as this queen of cups meaning you have a gift this cup is your gift that you offer to the world this is something new you know that's why the revolutionary this is something um you know like you starting a business you starting something you want to bring your gift into the world, but you think that there will be too much judgment yeah, from others. You see this exactly here. And this is the challenge you're facing is to overcome this obstacle. Because the universe wants to tell you that there's always justice. There's always balance in life. You know, it's, it's nothing that, um, you know, people can just come at you and, um, you know, tell you, no, you can't do, do this. You should not use your gift. You should not, um, you know, bring your gift out into the world. They cannot do this. You know, everything is justified. If the spirit asks you to be this revolutionary to fight for what is yours, then there's justice, you know. This is justified from spirit. That's what I'm seeing here. Your actions will be justified by spirit because you're bringing your gift into this world. Yeah, something from the heart. That's why I, this, this thread is maybe queen. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm strongly seeing here. So let's see what else spirit wants to tell, tell you. <clears throat> Get grounded. Empath, highly sensitive, connect with nature. Yes, you see this? That's exactly the Queen of Cups energy. And that's what, yeah, maybe you are too sensitive. Maybe you are afraid to fight against the whole world. You are rather like this person, a laid back person, someone who is like Buddha, not wanting to fight. You know, you rather sit there and you don't want to start a war, but you know, that's that's your personality. That's why I think the Queen of Cups is here. That's how you are. That's your Pisces energy. You know, you want peace, you want that everyone gets along, you know, but sometimes spirit is saying you have to come out of your ways. You know, sometimes you have to be, you know, you are always two sides. Sometimes we have to fight for the justice, for our own justice. Sometimes we cannot just sit there and watch. Sometimes we have to fight. Sometimes we have to make the revolution happening. You know, this is so your next challenge, Pale Green, is to, yeah, make this revolution happening. You know, <laughs> uh, to get grounded, to revolutionize, to start a revolution. That's your next challenge you're facing. Because you're not that person that does this. You're a very relaxed, laid back person. So let's see what Spirit is saying. What can you do in 3D? What's the... Ad okay. We have, thank God. That's always Robinson Crusoe thanking God that they send a boat and bring him away from the island. 
yeah and i'm seeing with this island it's like this is this island that's what your usual ways are you know your usual ways are to stick on your island to sit there to meditate to be in peace but to not wanting for, to fight for justice you don't want to fight for what is right for you yeah you say well i'm a laid-back person you know if people don't want my gifts maybe i should not bring them out because there would be too much controversy but Spirit is saying they already sent a boat <laughs> to save you, you know, because they want that your gift comes into the world. You know, so what you can do is be thankful that Spirit is, you know, like kind of like, how do you say it? Like sticking you, you know, like, come on, you know, come on, get up, get your gift out. Come on, show the world. Show your justice. You need to justify it. You need justice to happen. So I feel here spirit is saving you. Spirit is saving your ass basically. <laughs> By um, saving you from this island. And you becoming a, like kind of a different personality be than you were before. And this is a challenge for you. Being this revolutionary. Okay. That's all what I'm having. My pile green i hope you like this and i'm saying bye hello pal magenta so let's see what's your next challenge that you're facing what's your next challenge So let's see, Pamagenta, please, universe, why is this card here? Before we turn it around, first want to get two more cards from this beautiful deck. We have the Nine of Pentacles. I love these cards. Oh, okay, and the Six of Swords. And when we get this card, we stop right here and we look at the bottom of the deck. We have the Hermit. So you could be a Virgo. Oh, the Speak the Truth. Wow. I love this. Oh my gosh, look at these beautiful um, pictures. Can you see this golden sword? So your next challenge, Pal Magenta, is <clears throat> to speak your truth. And, um, you know, with this hermit card, this is being on a spiritual journey. And you, this is also keeping it inside of yourself. You have keeping your truth inside of yourself for a long time, I'm feeling here. And this is becoming strong. You know, the Nine of Pentacles is this card of this independent woman who has everything, who has all the abundance, who is just confident. You know, I see confidence in this card. Look at this gorgeous card. This is confidence. Confidence of speaking your truth. Confidence of um, moving away from drama also, you know. I want to clarify the Six of Swords because the Six of Swords is movement. Movement into calmer waters, you know, by speaking your truth, you move into calmer waters. Maybe there's a whole lot of tumult in your inner self, you know. Maybe you have kept the truth in. Maybe to another person, maybe to other people, maybe to a Virgo or about a Virgo. I don't know. But... We're having this Virgo here, this hermit that's putting a light on the snake and the snake is healing. And the snake is also false people, you know, wrong people, haters. And um, your next challenge is... Mm. It also could mean, um, you know, I have two scenarios. First scenario is that you need to speak your truth and you need to get out of your head because the Six of Swords is a movement, is a movement of the mindset. Yeah, this is a movement of a mindset, but I want to get one more card here. The Magician. Yeah, I mean, you are, you are, um, we have the Magician and the Hermit. You want to manifest something. In order to manifest this, you need to, you know, see how she's moving to that manifestation. You are the magician. You have all the tools basically to manifest this truth, um, to manifest the spiritual journey. So 
one scenario I'm getting in is you need to speak your truth and be confident in order to manifest your wishes, in order to move towards your manifestation, in order to um, enlighten and bring healing into the situation. Yeah, this is one scenario. The other scenario is I'm feeling that, you know, you are this spiritual teacher, you are the hermit, someone who heals, someone who teaches people, someone who, um, you know, lives on their own basically, but has a lot of weight on their shoulders because this is someone very wise. And you stood up for yourself and spoke your truth, like me, myself, you know, I'm speaking the truth for a long time. And um, <clears throat> what I'm seeing the next challenge is to move on from this, basically to accept it, you know, that you can speak yourself over and over and over again, but some people just don't get it. You know, that's, that's what we see basically happen on our channel. You know, I'm speaking my truth again and again and again and again. But, you know, sometimes we have to accept that people just don't get it. You know, they're just not born to be with us. They're just bullies all over and um, to move on, you know, and to move into this magician energy. So the magician is not caring about other people. The magician is very egocentric. Yeah, I just want to say this too. This person here speaking the truth, um, you know, standing up and speaking your truth in order to help others. Um, sometimes it's better to move you know, towards being egocentric and knowing that everything is all right. You know, there is this infinity sign. Everything will be fine. So please apply this this message as it fits. Please apply it to your situation. You know, this could have two different meanings. And I just want to say this. So let's see what else spirit is saying. Protection. Okay. Call back your power. Cut the cords soul retrieval that's very interesting i feel here that um yeah <clears throat> speaking the truth is protected and it's also calling back your power and cut the cords with people that don't get it you know, that's what I see here. Soul retrieval, cut the cords. Um, interesting. I mean, that's power, you know, that's being confident and standing up and speaking the truth. Um, you know what this could also be? This could also um, be about a relationship that ended. I just want to say this because it's not always about, you know, we're... Our little community that is very active, but sometimes people watch us um, that have nothing to do with our little community, you know. Um, so what I'm also seeing is that you move on from a person, could be a Virgo, but you separated yourself, you know, you cut the cords and you are single. Yeah. And your next challenge is maybe you have never spoken the truth to this person. Yeah. Maybe you have never... Um, defended yourself or or protected yourself or cut the cords and spoken your truth to that person that you parted ways from or to a friend but i'm feeling here with the hermit and the nine of pentacles this is someone you um had, were in a relationship before and maybe you have never spoken your truth why you cut the cords or why this was important that you protect yourself from the, their energy and to move on in order to manifest your own perfect life this could also have this meaning, yeah? So please apply it as it fits. I want to get a 3D because this is protected. I want to get a 3D card. What is the advice for Palm Agenda here? What's the advice? Okay, okay, okay. Yes, be courageous and speak your truth. Okay. And also move on. Look at this. This is fight for your truth. Fight for your truth and move towards your manifestation. That's what I'm thinking here. I, I feel this is um, talking about, look at this, it's even the same color. Look at this, guys. Yeah, be courageous, stand up for yourself. If someone is hurting you, you know, speak up, speak your truth. Um, you are highly protected. Yeah, protection is there. 
but call back your power. It's in your hands to move on and to be courageous and to speak your truth. It's all fine. It's all fine. Speak your truth and then move on, you know? Don't waste your energy with people or with a person that doesn't get you. That's what I have. And this is the next challenge, guys, because you have not done this. Yeah? Okay, so that's all what I'm having for Pamagenda. Bye! Multi blue. So let's see what the next challenge you're facing. Pile blue. Pile blue, please. Pile blue. Okay, this card wants to come out. Five of Swords. Why is this card here? And one, one more. Oops, Allah. Okay, three cards came out. I'm taking this third card as the signifier here. Okay, two major arcana. We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Temperance. So I'm putting the Temperance here. This is about mixing fire with water, you know, tempering. I also see the colors of the rainbow here. Oh, five, five, change is coming, guys. <clears throat> So let's see your next challenge, the sage. What is this all about? Balancing yourself. I mean, we have two sticks here, two paths to move forward. So I feel your next, yes, your next challenge will be a decision Pablo. I'm feeling let's I want to read the sage because I'm I don't know what this card is I mean look at those beautiful cards guys they are gorgeous aren't they let's see what the sage means the sage 108 the sage encourages you to see things from a higher perspective sage love teaches others but knows when and when not to share their thoughts they save their energy and their wisdom for those that can truly value and integrate it okay we may feel passionate about what we're saying but we also must allow for individual responsibility healthy sage encourages us to share our wisdom but to do so in a way that empowers others <clears throat> The sage calls you to tap into the wisest part of yourself. This card serves as an invitation to explore yourself without judgment. Simply be and see what you find. Yeah. The sage is all about exploring their internal landscape and finding truth. They are not attached to outcome and simply want to see everything for what it is. Mm -hmm. okay so <clears throat> your energy is basically and i said it's about balance and i in the temperance card is also about balance you know tempering it down so pablo your next challenge is mm, basically to balance your own teaching and that's i think it's a very important pile also for our channel it's like you said what you said you spoke your truth you know and then you move on because we have the five of swords here this is betrayal you know this is other people bringing you down yeah and it's also speaking from a place of love and not from a place of ego you know, the sage is also a spiritual, a wise person. So they know basically when to put up their stick and when, you know, to just sit there and watch the others do their stupid stuff, basically, you know. Because I see here that you are be betrayed big time 
We have two fives, you know, you are disappointed, you are disappointed, you are defeated. Um, there is some challenges around you with other people, you know, this could be even inside your family or with friends I'm seeing. And your next challenge is to not go over the border with that, basically, but to speak your truth and then leave it and go, basically, okay? That's basically your next challenge. The Wheel of Fortune also came out, so um, yeah, this will turn. I feel here this will turn for the better because the Wheel of Fortune, you know, brings fortune. But it's also to be important to balance yourself. Speak out, but then leave it, okay? It's like not over going over the border or, you know, really accusing people of something. It's about knowing when to stop and move on. So let's see, what more, Spirit? Water your garden, nourishment, tenderness, rest, body care. Yeah, take care of yourself, basically, you know. Look at that you water your garden, that you, um, you know, take care and also see yourself. Because I'm feeling here from the outside a lot of pressure, a lot of disappointment, a lot of war going on here, you know. And this is like watering your garden, taking care of yourself, nourishing yourself. Um, because you are the sage, you know, you are a wise person, you know what's going on and... You know, some people we have just have to leave be, you know, sometimes some people will never understand. And so just leave them, you know, nourish yourself. Be strong. That's what I try to teach you all the time. But also know when it's good, you know, when you can say, OK, maybe I just leave those people alone, cut cords, you know, and just do my own thing. Not caring about this anymore, like tempering yourself out, basically. Yeah, not going overboard or not basically also not indulging in anything toxic. So what is the 3D <clears throat> advice for the 3D? Yeah, <laughs> look at this. Those two cards came out. So I'm taking two of them. If they two of them come out, it says celebrate you and let go and flow. Okay, so basically... If people come at you or if there is the on the outside, you know, people want to fight and you're very disappointed. Sometimes it's better, you know, to just you said your your truth. Of course, you always have to speak your truth. That's important. But then, you know, just let it be. You know, spirit is saying it will turn for the better. The wheel of fortune is here and whoever hurt you, you know, this is basically let karma take over. That's what I'm always saying. You know, you fought, you spoke your truth. You're disappointed, you're sad, um, but why worry about other people's opinions that much, you know? That's, that's very important. I mean, speaking up is important too, but, you know, as we know on our channel, we see that too. Some people, they don't, they don't just get it. They will never get it. We can, like, maybe do turnarounds or, I don't know do all kind of stupid things, they will never get it, yeah? So we just should celebrate ourselves and let go and flow, you know? Let karma take over, let spirit take over, they will do, they will do, you know? So, wow, what a beautiful message today. And that's a challenge for you. I feel you're someone that really indulges, that really goes up to people and tells them the truth and spits in their face, you know, and says, you're, you're wrong, why, why you know? But also know that, um, you know, each individual has a different opinion in things. Yeah, we also have to acknowledge that even if sometimes their opinions are, I don't know where they come from, but, you know, sometimes it's better to just move on and say, okay, you know, it's their opinion about this and that. Leave them be with their opinion. Yeah, leave them be. And um, yeah, we should be thankful that we don't have them on the channel, you know, that they don't watch the readings. <laughs> they would probably never be healed by that. Okay. So that's very gorgeous here to see. Be independent, be happy, celebrate yourself and just don't care about haters. Basically, that's what this pile says. Very beautiful. 
So that's all what I'm having. Bye.